going to be a general love reading for the sign of Leo. Hi, Leo. All right. So normally I do the top three first. Um, the top, if you're new here, let me just explain. So normally I do the top three views, um, the top three videos that got the most views by sign. So the tops were Pisces, Aquarius, Taurus, and now I'm doing Leo because Taurus and Leo tied for the month, last month. So I'm doing Leo. Um, and we're going to see what's going on in your love life, Leo. So if you are um, a past subscriber, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited you're here. Thank you for being on this timeline with me. If you are a new subscriber, then you should know that whenever you find this reading, it is for you. All of my readings are timeless. And just so you know, I'm not super wildly popular yet. So if you found this reading, it's definitely for you. Or there's a message in here for you. Um, not all of it might resonate with you 100%. But if you found this reading, then there's definitely a message in here for you. So let's go ahead and get started. We're reading now for Leo spirits. Leo. Um, thank you. Oh, just a little bit of a hiccup there. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for our source messages for our beautiful Leos. What does our Leos need to know about their love life in June, please? What does our Leos need to know? So, a little bit of love blocks. I can feel the cards didn't want to shuffle. It's been doing that for all the signs. There's just a little bit of energy blocks that need to be cleared in regards to love. It's nothing serious. So there's a hair. Oh, why get distracted? Hmm. All right, let me cut these for you. All right, Leo, reading now for Leo. What does our beautiful fire sign Leos need to know right now in regards to this connection that they have in love with the person on their mind? All right, four cards. So I'm going to start out with four cards, Spirit, and then I'm going to put the cards back and I'm going to reshuffle to see if we have any repeating cards. That's what I've been doing with all the signs. So for Leo, reading now for Leo. Whoa! <laughs> so right off the bat, Leo, we have the lovers. Let's get three more cards, please. Oh, beautiful energy. The moon. So right away, there is coming across a very, very deep soul connection. But it feels like one or both of you are holding on to feelings. Someone is not being honest in this connection. They're hiding some feelings. The moon is about very, very deep feelings. But there are also feelings in the subconscious or feelings that are being pressed down and hidden. The moon is about things being hidden, right? So this person, even though they're feeling these really deep emotions, they might not be showing them to you yet, Leo. But the lover's card is showing me they're going to have to make a choice really soon. Two more cards, please. Yes, see? Um... We have Eight of Cups. So I feel like if these feelings don't come out very soon, one or both of these of this um, people in this connection are going to move on. It's Eight of Cups is moving on. And Three of Wands, that one flew out. We're going to keep that as a side energy. Can we get one more card, please, Spirit, for Leo? thing about Leo is Leo's oh see <laughs> we got the hermit okay so the thing about Leo's is um, Leo's are very sort of very content being alone and they're one of the signs that they're very comfortable um, it was just four for four on my camera phone so there is proof that the angels are here and happy with us um, they're very comfortable being alone. They're one of the astrological signs that has no problem at all 
being by themselves because they are very comfortable in their own skin. Um, they're very comfortable in their own company and they don't really um, need to be in a relationship with anyone because they're very good at being by themselves. And that's because deep at heart, even though Leos are come across as very social butterflies um, and they do have a lot of they might have a lot of acquaintances, but they don't have a lot of deep soul friends. And so the ones that they do, they're very close to. Um, and they will love with their whole entire heart when they are in a relationship with someone. But they're the one sign that like, really at the deep core, most Leos are, although they come across as very social, they are very, very, um, they are, um, hermits at the deep core of their soul, which means they like to spend a lot of time alone, sort of learning, um, studying and doing things by themselves in order to learn more about themselves. Okay. And you know, for a lot of reasons, there's a lot of reasons for that. Some Leos are very, you know, egotistical and self-absorbed, but you know, that's not necessarily just a Leo trait. Um, most of the time it's because Leos have spent so much time alone because Leos really don't like to settle in love. And so they spend a lot of time alone because they don't really jump from relationship to relationship. So they're content being alone and learning about themselves and figuring out what it is that they want rather than, you know, sort of serial dating. And that's why I say they're very comfortable being alone. And so... Um, I feel like if this connection doesn't blossom into what it's, it feels like it's going to, you know, with the lovers, I do see a really deep connection that I feel like one of the persons in this connection might, um, turn around and say, oh, well, it's not worth it. Okay. Hold on. And then, you know, go back to being alone. All right, and I'll tell you why I say this. We have the lovers here, which shows, like, beautiful soul connection. Um, you know, it's the lovers, so it's two people perfectly suited for each other. And then we have the moon, which shows that one or more persons in this connection is really holding on to some really deep feelings and not letting them surface. So the feelings, they feel them, and then they they sort of like start to bubble to the surface and then they just get shoved down or is like the person is saying no that's not you know what i'm feeling that's and they might not even be aware of them they might be so deeply hidden that they're sort of trying to um what's the word am i looking for they're sort of trying to fit it into a box as in like this is what it is or maybe they're saying that it's it's something else and they're thinking it's not um, a love connection when really it is. Um, and then we have the card that came out after that is Eight of Cups. So this is someone in the connection leaving, like leaving, walking away. Um, the Eight of Cups is known as the breakup card. It's just saying goodbye. And then what came out after that is the Hermit. So it's, you know, being alone to sort of um, do some more meditation, studying. Um, it's really spending time alone in order to um, sort of deepen the spiritual connection that you have with yourself, okay? And then we have the Three of Wands, which is, um, it came out as a side energy, Leo. And this is the card here of sort of looking out into the world and thinking, you know, that there's better things out there than what you're experiencing here in your little box, excuse me, and sort of wanting to experience life on a grander scale instead of <clears throat> going about like not really living. Does that make sense? So wanting to experience life on a deeper level and sort of live. <laughs> okay, that's what they're saying. 
All right, so I put the cards back. I'm going to shuffle them again. Um, we're going to do four more cards. And the reason I've been doing this is because I want to see if we have repeating energies that are coming out. Because the last two readings I did for Aquarius and Taurus, there was repeating cards. Taurus got the Hanged Man twice. And Aquarius got um, the Three of Swords twice. So, you know, Three of Swords being Heartbreak. And the Hanged Man being a pause and a relationship or connection. So, all right. Can we get four more cards for Leo? Um, what else can you tell me about this connection for Leo? Four more cards about this connection for Leo. And then after this, I'm going to shuffle and see how you feel about this. There's still a lot of energy blocks here in this connection because I can feel them when I go to shuffle the cards and nothing is moving. The cards are stuck and they don't want to move. All right, four more cards about this connection. And even when I shuffle them very fast, I go to put them back together and they sort of get stuck. So it feels like there's no forward movement right now in this connection. Um, last four cards for Leo. What do they need to know about this connection? When we get done here, I'm going to, it was just 1111 on my phone camera, which is a master number or a twin flame, twin soul connection number. Um, so keep that in mind, Leo. After this, I'm going to do a card for how you feel about this person on your mind. And then I'm going to do a card how they feel about you as I did for Aquarius and Taurus. Four more cards, Spirit, please. Ooh, that one flew out. Oh my God, I told you, could I make it up? This just flew out and hit the ground. It's the lovers again, Leo. So this person is definitely, your person is definitely feeling the feelings. They're feeling the feelings. Why they're not coming forward and telling you they're feeling the feelings, I don't know. But the lovers is about making a choice in love. They need to make a choice and there is no movement. I don't know. The lovers is also a very deep connection. It is known as the soulmates or the twin flame card. Um, it's It represents a divinely guided higher love. So literally angels, um, source, God, whatever has put this connection and guided you guys together. If you look at the card, it's a couple and... They're both nude, so this, this represents their vulnerability and burying themselves to each other. And if you look, the sun is behind this being, which is an angel. So the angel represents a higher love, a higher self-connection. It also represents um, the angelic beings um, bringing you guys together so that you guys can experience this love. This archangel or source God or whatever it is, whatever divine divinity being that you want to call God, angels, they have moved things around in the universe and galaxies so that you guys could find each other. This is divinely orchestrated by your higher selves and orchestrated through divine higher beings to bring you guys together. And the sun behind this being represents... Um, love, enlightenment, joy, spirituality. So it's a very deep connection. All right, let's get three more cards for Leo, please. Ace of Cups. All right, Leo, it looks like your person is going to make a decision very soon. And the decision is going to be to go full on into a relationship with you. Um, the Ace of Cups is the relationship card. Page of Swords. Let's get one more card, please, for Leo. One more card, please, for Leo. Okay. <laughs> the Empress. All right. So, I do see this person making a decision to move forward in this relationship and to literally full-blown make this into a relationship connection. So if they haven't made any movements as far as like letting you know how they feel, they will very soon. Um, the Ace of Cups, as we know, so it came out like this. It was the Lovers and then the Ace of Cups, okay? So 
The Ace of Cups, we all know, is the relationship card. It's the card of experiencing so much love in the connection that you're literal the cup. Look, if you look at the cup, it's overflowing with emotions. So there's so much feelings that the, the feelings of love just start to overflow and literally pour out of the cup. That one saying that goes by cup overfloweth, you know, that you hear people say, that's what it means. Also, there's a bird right here behind the cup. So the bird represents peace. This relationship, when it is finally solidified in this um, 3D, it's going to bring both you and your partner so much needed peace, Leo. This is a connection that both of you have earned because you may have had really, really scary and traumatic relationships in the past with people who really didn't appreciate either of you. And so now um, this relationship is going to bring so much inner peace. And I think it's because for one, both of you are experiencing sort of this inner peace inside of you and that sort of will radiate out into your reality and create that peace outside of you, which is this, you know, drawing in this loving, peaceful connection for you. Okay, so um, the Page of Swords is showing me that this person really, um, they haven't picked up their sort of truth yet. They're sort of content right now learning um, about you. And when they do pick up that sort of truth, though, they're going to really pick up that sort of truth. Now, this is Page of Swords. So this um, Page of Swords also represents um, a younger air sign energy. Um, swords always represents air signs. So like Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, and pages tend to represent younger um uh, younger people. Um, so like, you know, someone that would be, uh, early twenties, um, late twenties, early thirties. Um, and yes, I mean, you can tell it's air sign energy. There's a lot of clouds in the background. So yes, that's air. Um, but it's really funny is because the Empress came out right next to this page of swords. So Leo, your person does see you as this very seductive, queen-like, um, goddess-like energy. And, you know, nothing that you do, I feel like, can really taint you in their eyes. You know, they see you as, <laughs> there's a watermelon on here. And I keep hearing, um, very juicy. <laughs> I don't know what that means. It's funny. But funny to me. Juicy, sweet. So they see you as someone who's, um... Very sweet, I guess. Does that make sense? All right, I'm going to move on from this and I'm going to shuffle the stack and see how you feel about this person, how they feel about you, because I wanted to sort of keep these readings under 30 minutes because you guys seem to like the um, shorter readings. So how does Leo feel about this person deep in their heart of hearts right now? How does Leo feel about this person that is on their mind and have this strong connection with? Please, spirit. How does Leo feel about this person right now? So hot in here. How does Leo feel about this person, please? How does Leo feel about this person? A card wanted to come out and then it, oh, the high priestess. Okay, so right now, Leo feels like they know how this person feels. They're using their intuition and they're, they feel like, they know exactly how this person feels, but yet they don't want to, they don't want to force anything out of this person. They don't want to um, coerce this person, but you know, the high priestess represents using your intuition and it's a deep knowing. It's a deep knowing. So all right, now let's see how your person feels about you, Leo. How does your person feel about you, Leo? How does how does the person on Leo's mind feel about them? Then after this, we're going to do your diamond healing card, um, your crystal healing card. 
and we'll do a message from your person that they don't want to what your person doesn't want you to know in their heart of hearts but they want but they do want you to know and so we're going to use my um lemurian love deck for that and then we'll do your um spirit message from the roomy oracle and be done all right how does leo's person feel about them the person that they're in this connection with right now how do they feel about leo other than the empress <laughs> give us another card so for some of you divine feminines um, your person really does see you as a beautiful um, force in their life. They see you as a queen. How does Leo's person feel about them right now in their heart of hearts? Please, Spirit, thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for service messages. Okay. <laughs> so, again, <laughs> we, have, um, we have queen energy again. So they see you as the Queen of Wands. There's a little bit different things going on here, though. Um, the Queen of Wands is, once again, it's fire sign energy. So Leo, um, Sagittarius, Aries energy. They see you as um, the sun. Uh, for some of you, it's literally a Leo that you're dealing with, another Leo. Um there's, you know, lions all in this card. Um, so, you know, it could be a divine masculine dealing with a divine feminine Leo. There is a a um, a black cat in this card. So the black cats represent magic. So they see you as like this <laughs> magical witch goddess with like all powerful and magical. And there's a sunflower and the sunflowers represent the sun. Um, sunflowers will follow the sun they will literally grow in the direction of the sun so they see you as this radiating light force that they will constantly turn to when they need that light and oh my god I just got chills when I heard that in my soul that is so beautiful <laughs> I'm not gonna get emotional maybe a little it's beautiful okay Leo all right, so we're going to do, let's do your healing crystal card first. All right, what um, healing crystal can Leo use at this point to heal themselves? It's reading the already got ridiculously long. Mm. All right, what does Leo need to know to heal themselves, please? I'm getting hot, so my energy is... I'm getting hot and sweaty. All right, Leo. What crystal can Leo use right now for their best healing benefit, please, Spirit? What healing crystal can Leo use? See, my cheeks are getting red. I'm getting sweaty. It's getting hot in here. Been in here for a while. Okay, healing crystal for Leo, please. All right, crystal for you is... Mangano calcite. Ooh, I have no idea what that is. All right. A lot of these are for the heart chakra. The last three readings I did, um, all of the signs got crystals um, for the heart chakra. So this uh, crystal relates to the heart chakra. The chemistry is C-A-M-N and C-O-3. It says, found in masses, usually containing pink and white bands. Makes sense, right? Beneficial for love, self-worth, anxiety, peace, nightmares, motivation, stress, joints, skin, and immune system. The healing properties. Mangano calcite is a stone of love that also connects to the angelic realm. It's a great stone to use when overcoming trauma and abuse. That's beautiful. It's a stone of forgiveness and releases grief and fear that keeps the heart trapped. So beautiful, Leo. Okay, so we're gonna do a card from your person. <clears throat> Getting a little tired connecting to all of these energies. All right, what does Leo's person want them to know in their heart of hearts, even if they have not yet let our Leos know? What does Leo's person want them to know deep in their heart of hearts, even if they have not let our beautiful Leos know? Let's let our Leos know what this person wants to say deep in their hearts. 
to Leo. Ah, that card flew out. I guess that's it. <laughs> it flew out and hit me in the leg. It was very uncomfortable. All right, so the card that we got, Leo, it says, I'm yours. Explains it all. So this person feels in their heart of hearts that they are already yours. They feel like they're already in this relationship with you and that their soul and their heart belongs to you. They just haven't quite came out and let you know, Leo, that they feel like they're, they already belong to you. And th that's what I'm going to call your, Leo, your reading, Leo. It's, I'm going to call it I'm yours because that is beautiful. The last final message. Spirit said, that's what you're going to call the reading. I'm yours. All right, Leo. Um, my chapstick is getting slimy and gross. All right, we're going to do your final roomy spirit message, and we're going to call this a reading. If you want to book a reading with me, Leo, um, click the little arrow under the description box, and um, my website will pop up. I have a new website. Made it easier for you guys to book a reading with me. You can tip me on there. You can check out my Patreon on there. And you can also check out my Etsy store and my son's channel. All right. What is the last message for our beautiful Leos? I'm getting really hot. Get out of here. All right. What do we got for Leo? What, are you, what do our beautiful fire sign Leos need to know about this beautiful connection that is playing out in their life right now? All right, here we go. Last card. So beautiful. Ah. <laughs> oh, oh, there it is. Flew out. Blessing of Al Hakim. Ooh, that's that's a who that's a that's a tongue twister. Blessing of Al Hakim. See, can you see it? It's spelled A L and then dash H A K I M. And the number on it is 40. It's um Arabic, I think. Interesting. <laughs> Very interesting indeed. <laughs> and quite a synchronicity for me. Okay. Blessing of Al Hakim. Sell your cleverness and buy bewilderment. Cleverness is opinion. Bewilderment is vision. That's beautiful. The gift of wisdom, the blessing of Al Hakim, gurgles up from your heart. Her blessing is evoked by life, like the laughter of a babe, joyfully responding to the playful tickle of the mother's hand. There's a little bug crawling in my hand. Wisdom can make divine sense of anything, especially of that where logic is blinded. How can I revere the blessing of Al-Hakim, of wisdom, for she is precious and welcome to me now and always, the dear friend who brings me such peace. A blessing of divine wisdom of Al-Hakim is being ministered to your soul watched over by Rumi himself. Oh my God, that's beautiful. I love Rumi. <laughs> this is soul medicine. It is a spiritual gift of healing, prophecy, insight, and the capacity to surrender any impatient claim for what you cannot yet have. <laughs> of course. <laughs> As you receive this gift, this blessing which happens at a soul level, your attitude to life becomes more curious, open, still, and receptive. You no longer have to drive the unfoldment of your desires into form. You rest in assurance that your daily application and effort is enough, and so is your surrender. Oh my God, it's beautiful, it's so beautiful. Okay, Leo, I really hope you enjoyed this reading and it resonated very much um, with me as well because you know I'm Leo too. So I love you guys so fiercely, Leo, and I really hope that this resonated with you and that you liked this reading. Bye.